Hello, 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 hello. Right, so uh, happy new year and all that. Just have a look through my YouTube channel and one of my most popular um, videos was doing the Pro Boolean in Studio Max. Um, the thing I didn't show it back then um, was animating um, a, a sub-object or a operator that's on operand as we call it in a Pro Boolean or Boolean depending on how you want to pronounce it. So let's um, let's do this. One, let's we got um, a couple of objects in here. They've got turbo smooth and bend. Let's turn turbo smooth off. Turn bend off. Um, this has got uh, a wave object, and that's got some tapers and things on it. But hey ho, there you go. So this is just a box here. It's just a primitive. Um, so what we're going to do is go to creation, drop this down, change it to compound. Prick Pro Boolean and start picking. So I'll we'll pick this guy, that guy, and this guy. You'll notice we'll end the picking session uh, that we have transferred the materials as well. If we go to Material Palette here. You can see these got materials on them, so they're not just colours because you can also just have um, actual colours. These are materials. Um, and what we've got on here was apply operand material, and all we can retain the original material in which case it should all go blue when we do that but we've decided not to so we've got the operand material we can close that down um, what we can now go is to the modifier panel in fact we can do that can't we um, and then we can go to pro boolean operands and we can select such as the box for instance and hit the move tool and we can move our operand which is the box so we can animate this. So let's just do that. So let's go to uh, Auto Key, and we'll go to there, and we'll just go and uh, set a key, and then we're going to go to say frame 15. And we're going to drag it in, so it's in. So that's now animated. So that's cool. Okay, apart from, actually, I've changed my mind. Let's turn Auto Key off. Um, what I really want to do is I'd prefer that to have its turbo move on so it has now and there you go so that's now updated it's got its turbo smooth on um, what I want to change on the turbo smooth though is I'd soon have more iterations so I'm going to do that instead so now I've got far more iterations as it comes in we'll probably have it as uh, two though just to keep it happy so let's knock it down to two okay and then we can go to say frame 30 and we can go to auto key and we're going to move that down again so let's do that uh, operands box let's move this down here like so switch auto key off what we're going to do is turn the bend on so we've got the bend on here so i'll go back to here and we're going to make set it as zero I'm going to go here and set that as zero, so that's okay. Let's check it, it's on zero. Let's go auto key. We'll zero that as well. Let's make sure it's on zero. Okay, so that's cool. So it comes in here, goes down, and then on frame 50, we're going to bend that all the way over, sort of there. So it's doing that. There we go. Okay, and switch also key off. So there you go, there's an animated Boolean object with Turbo Smooth with modifiers like Bend On or Working. Again, you can um, go into Operands here and we can change the cylinder, for instance, here. And we can go um, Auto Key on the cylinder. Okay, I should be able to move that now. There we go. So let's um, bring it forward. Okay, and we'll go to uh, frame 10. All right, we're going to bring it in so it's there. Let's say there. And then frame 25. So we are making sure that this is. There we go, let's go there. Go there. Okay, and then frame 40. You'll notice the timeline is. Um, need to move back a bit. 
is just there we go. Just for the whole uh, pro booling, it's not for an uh, an item. So I can do. Let's leave that off as taper. So that has now got the taper applied to it. Okay, the actual um, cylinder itself. Let's go down to the cylinder itself. Let's make the radius a bit bigger. That's better. And we can up the uh, height segments, a bit more resolution in. There we go, that's better looking. And we'll change that to 24. So it's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, you can do quite a lot. And we'll just go and change the last item here. So go to operands again, we'll go to sphere, and we'll go to auto key and put it on zero. Just key the zero in there. And we'll just go to um, 70. And just move this guy over here. Like that. Okay. And he's got a wave on, so I can add a wave to it. Yeah, so it's got his modifier. And there you go. We can sort of animate the amount of wave that's on this as well. So we can go to wave. <coughs> and we'll say um, nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, that gets us there. We'll get to there. And I'll up the uh, wave amount. Okay. And we'll lift this sphere. Oops, sorry. Wrong one. Let's go operands sphere. There we go. And I can lift him up like so. We'll change the size of this sphere as well. So down to the bottom of it. We'll say the radius is bigger. There you go. I mean, I don't know what it is, but um, there you go. Totally, totally cool. Matter of fact, let's go to operand. Uh, got a cat meowing in the background. Shush, hang on. One's doing a professional video. Be quiet. So, oh, she won't listen, will she? So, let's go to cylinder. And let's go to taper. And we're going to go to zero here. And we're going to go to. Uh, zero on that so that's better okay now we can give it a taper and there you go auto key cool then select the whole thing and we're done there we go so that will do so yes you can animate uh, booleans and it's pretty cool and add modifiers and animate modifiers after the fact and that I think will do that little video um, and then better go and feed the cat hey eh? what do you think <laughs> if you can hear it it's not it it's Polly and she's now looking in her food bowl and decided that I've ignored her and she'll find her own food so there you go right um, see you later cheers bye